So it's currently three o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I'm awake, but me being awake made it so I can actually talk about some breaking news. So Embracer Group, it's like a, it's either the conglomerate or like part of the conglomerate that owns like THQ Nordic, Coke Media, Deep Silver, and like other publishers like that. They have entered into an agreement to buy most of Square Enix's Western studios. So they're buying like I, buying Eidos, Crystal Dynamics, Square Enix Montreal, and more. And they're buying IPs like Tomb Raider, uh, Deus Ex, Thief, Legacy of Kane, and I don't know what else. Maybe they're going to get the Marvel license as well. So in a press release from Embracer Group, they said, We are thrilled to welcome these studios into the Embracer Group. We recognize the fantastic IP, world-class creative talent, and track record of excellence that have been demonstrated time and time again over the past decades. It has been a great pleasure meeting the leadership teams and discussing future plans for how they can realize their ambitions and become a great part of Embracer, says Lars Wingforce co-founder and group CEO of Embracer. Then it says, Embracer is the best kept secret in gaming, a massive decentralized collection of entrepreneurs whom are thrilled to become part of today. What the f*** does that mean? It is the perfect fit for our ambitions. Make high quality games with great people, substantially and grow our existing franchises to the best version ever. Embracer allows us to forge new partnerships across all media to maximize our franchises. Potential and lover dreams making extraordinary entertainment, says Phil Rogers. Hey, that's me. Uh, Square, <laughs> Square Enix America and Europe CEO. So it seems like for a while now, Square has been caring less and less about the Western developers. Even a few years ago, they sold off IO and the Hitman license. Because it seems like, you know, they got this Marvel license and then they put Crystal Dynamics on Avengers, which is a game that's nothing like they made before, like a game as a service. And then they had Guardians of the Galaxy game with IDOS. What was it, IDOS Montreal? Hold on. Yeah, it was Eidos Montreal to put them in Guardians of the Galaxy. Problem is that Avengers is so poorly received that a lot of people thought Guardians was going to be a similar type of thing, so a lot of people didn't buy it, kind of screwing over Eidos Montreal in the process. And then Square Enix goes on to talk about how it dis it was disappointing in sales and all that stuff. But meanwhile, there can be like some of their Japanese developed games that sell similarly that they say are a huge success. The writing was kind of on the wall. This might be better for those studios, and now they might get more of the support they need, and maybe they can have more realistic... Uh, expectations for their games and stuff like that. It's hopefully a good thing for all the studios, but now Embracer is huge. They have a lot of studios, a lot of talent, a lot of IP. So, I don't know, they're another big player that a lot of people don't seem to talk about. But anyway, this was a uh, kind of non-planned news story. I was about to go to bed and then I saw this. So I turned the camera on real quick. So thank you guys for watching this kind of disjointed video. And I hope to get back on this channel a little more. So thank you for uh, being patient.